everyone, I am Brandon George, and I am the flutist of Imani Wen. Um, the flute is a beautiful instrument that I love so much, clearly, because I've made my whole life playing it. Uh, but you might be wondering, what am I doing as a flutist who plays an instrument that looks like this in a woodwind quintet of instruments that are made of wood? Well, the flute used to be made of wood for hundreds of years. It was only a wooden tube with little holes in it. But now we play flutes of silver, of gold, because we want it to play louder. They also look really, really pretty, right? And we have all of these buttons so that we can play lots of notes. It's in three pieces. The head joint here, which I blow across here to make sound. The body, which is in two pieces. So you have the keys here and you have the foot joint here. And I'll play a little bit so you can hear the flute. <laughs> And that's the flute. And my friend Toyin is going to tell you a bit about the oval. Hello, my name is Toyin Spelman Diaz, and I am the oboist of Imani Wins. The oboe is an ancient instrument, kind of like the flute. And the way that it is distinguished from a flute, which is played this way, is this little piece of wood and string and cork called the double reed. I make these by hand. It set, sounds really gorgeous by itself. And that causes the vibration that makes the sound of the oboe. Here we go. Hi, my name is Mark Dover, and I'm the clarinetist of Imani Wins. So, kind of like the oboe and the bassoon, I also have a reed, but I just have a single reed. So I can't make a sound alone, right? I need to actually put the reed against this thing here called the mouthpiece, and that's how I create the vibration that gives me my sound. So, right? And kind of like the horn, the rest of the clarinet is an amplifier for that. So as I put the, all the parts together, and there's several of them, you get the full range of the horn. <laughs> Right, so the clarinet has an amazing range, three and a half octaves, so it's quite a big range, and it can also play very soft. And very loud. And in addition, in addition to classical music, I can also play jazz and improvised music, so I'll play some of that for you right now. Hi, my name is Kevin Newton, and I'm the hornist of Amani Wins. The horn is a really interesting instrument because it was never intended to be a musical instrument. It was actually used as a tool for fox hunting. So while they were on horseback, they needed a way to communicate over long distances. So they, would, they, create, they created this because it was easy to hold under one arm while holding the reins of the horse with the other hand. And they had certain calls. There was a, a person called the Huntsman that would ride beside the Huntsmaster, and their job was to play calls to let people know what was going on behind them. Toyan talked a little bit about how the oboe makes a sound. So the horn, actually, the sound is produced from the lips or the embouchure. <laughs> And the instrument is just an amplifier for what's happening here. So I'm going to play a little bit of the horn for you.
My name is Monica, and I am the bassoonist of Imani Wins. The bassoon is an instrument that you don't often see so much, so that's why I actually love playing in a chamber music group, because you get to see it up close. It's really similar to the oboe in that it also has a double reed, and that's how the vibration is, is created once the double reed goes back onto the bassoon. Another cool thing about the bassoon is that it has a really large range. That's why it's so big. So I'll play a little bit for you and you can really hear how beautiful it is and, and how much sound you can get out of it. There's the bassoon. <laughs> 